Welcome back everybody. I know uh, all you guys are getting excited for turkey season here in New York. It's right around the corner for both New York and Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania actually comes in a few days prior to New York. So I'm uh, gearing up and getting excited for that. I'm going to be doing a few more videos on my turkey hunting setup and what I have in my turkey hunting vest and stuff and what I carry. But before we get into all that, I've got three or four more reviews I got to knock out on the channel before we get into the turkey stuff. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the rear view mirror dash cam and it has a backup camera as well. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this and check it out. I'm not actually going to set it up on uh, wired into the vehicle to show you the footage or not or, and stuff like that, but you can get on uh, the reviews on Amazon and check out the actual footage it takes. I'm just going to show you, unbox it and show you what uh, comes with and tell and, and uh, fill you in on everything it does and its capabilities. So let's check it out. Okay, so here it is right here. So this is uh, 10 inches wide and uh, this whole thing is touch screen. You can see right there's the power button once you get power to it. Let's see what else is in here. So there's your power source, it hooks into your cigarette lighter in your vehicle and then this hooks in to the camera itself right here on the bottom and you have your AVN, your SD card slot and then your GPS that you can hook up as well. And then this is for the backup camera you'd run that wire all the way through to the back of your vehicle and uh, hook that up on the rear. Here's your manual. And then I believe these are what hold the uh, mirror over your existing mirror. These hook in, I'll show you. This would hook into that like this and then this would go over your existing mirror and hook up on this side. Now your actual camera is right here and this extends out like that. So one of the nice things about this camera is it's very discreet, you know, you wouldn't notice it like the other, the other uh, dash cam that I reviewed it. It's very obvious that there's a dash cam there. This one's very discreet, so you might, you know, if you weren't looking very close, you wouldn't even see it. Now I'll go ahead and tell you a few things about it. This has super night vision, safe driving at night. It's equipped with a f2.0 aperture and six glass lenses, so it can greatly enhance night vision and obtain sharp color accurate images. That you can clearly read. Comes with a 140 degree waterproof backup uh, camera which is right here. It can also withstand extreme temperature differences from 4 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. So this camera takes 1080p quality high resolution video and it's 170 degrees wide angle so you're definitely going to capture the entire road in front of you. This dash cam has uh, what they call a gravity sensor and with the built-in G sensor the Cam Park mirror dash cam will automatically lock the current video when a collision occurs which cannot be overwritten even in loop recording. So if you're in an accident the 
you don't have to worry about you know saving the video or anything like that it will already be automatically saved in there and the loop recording will not record over it will be in a specified file you know saved to the side it also has 24 hour parking monitor on it so you turn on the parking mode on the dash cam and it will automatically turn itself on and record to 20 to 30 seconds of video when there is a vibration or collision being detected so if your vehicle is parked, vehicle shut off or whatnot, and as soon as a, a detection or a you know a video, as soon as uh, it detects a collision with a parked vehicle, it'll re start recording. So that's a pretty handy feature as well. Overall, it seems like a super nice dash cam. I'm gonna go ahead and check out some of the reviews and uh, get back to you on that. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna set this up in the vehicle because I already have a different dash cam set up in it, but seems to be a really nice dash cam. Okay, so I just looked at some of the reviews on Amazon and for the most part, people really have been uh, liking this product. It's got a five star review and very few bad things to say about it. I uh, forgot to mention about the loop recording. So loop recording is, say you put a 32 gigabyte SD card in the dash cam, It'll continue recording video all the way till that 32 gigabyte uh, SD card is full. And as soon as that SD card is full, it'll start overwriting the, the oldest video on the SD card. So it'll continuously be putting new video on the SD card. So you'll usually have like the last four hours of your trip recorded and everything uh, before that four hours will get recorded over. So that's how the loop recording works. But if you guys are interested in this dash cam and backup camera just uh, check the link out in the description below you can get this for hundred and twenty nine dollars and seventy nine cents so pretty good deal really it's a the mirror it works pretty good okay so I'm gonna wrap up this review video and uh, I'm gonna draw a name from my patreon account for this DOX hat so if you're part of the patreon account I have all the names updated in the draw box here, so we'll go ahead and pick a name. So the DUX hat is going to Randy. Randy is getting the DUX hat, so congratulations to Randy. I'll put a few Kill em Outdoors uh, barrel stickers and uh, stock stickers in with the with the hat when I send it out to you. So. Really appreciate everybody on my Patreon account. The turkey hunting videos will be coming shortly. I have a few more reviews to get through, and then uh, the content will get good again, everybody. So bear with me with the reviews, but I appreciate everybody watching. Take it easy.